YouTube. Okay, this video um, that I'm about to do is a couple different ways to make the flowers. The small flower video that I did um, has a lot of responses to it and a lot of people want to know how to make them bigger. So, um, we have, or I have, two different ways to do this. One, you can do it the exact same way we did the small one. Um, personally, I like the second one better. A lot of people do. Um, it has a lot more detail to it. Doesn't take a lot more work, um, just a little bit. But we're going to go through both of them. So on this one, these are all 11 inch balloons. The difference is these ones, the purple ones, are inflated 45 pumps. They are with double pump. And the, this color is actually called Wildberry. These are done with 15 pumps. These are 10 and a half inches if you are doing this with a chair and not a pump, um, or not a double pump and you wanna make sure you get them the same size. And these are about, I'd say, maybe six and a half inches. Um, I don't think they're quite seven, but I think they're a little bit bigger than six. So I'm gonna go with six and a half. I don't know. I measured them with pumps. Um, so sorry if they end up, you know, not looking exactly the same and that's how you measure them. Uh, but that's about where they are, so it shouldn't be that much of a difference. Um, five balloons, two balloons. These have five 11 inch balloons that are inflated 45 pups, same as that one, has 10 5 inch balloons that are inflated 5 pumps, two 5 inch balloons that are inflated 3 pumps. Um, these, as you can see, are not tied the way I normally tie them. The reason is these have to stretch between all of these balloons so it needs a little more give. I inflated them one at a time. I did not inflate them and make them do plus as I was inflating like I normally do in my videos. Um, these were done one at a time. They were tied really you know as close as I could to the inflated portion so that they had quite a good size neck on them. Then the two necks I tied together as close to the end of the neck as I could um, to allow that expansion. So the way that we put these together, the easiest way, if you do not have somebody to help you do this, is you take your five balloon cluster of your bigger balloons, flatten that down. One of your smaller ones, place it on top, spin it a little bit so they're not resting right on top of the other. So they look like this. And then I add this. You just put it in between it all. you can twist these small ones around where it came through so that it doesn't slide out. Then I will flip it and add the last cluster because if you're trying to do all of them at the same time it's gonna try to pop out of your hand a lot you're gonna get mad at it and probably end up popping one of the balloons. So. Same thing. This time I just slide that balloon right in there, twist it around, make it where I want it sitting, adjust this one if I need to, and that is the other um, large balloon that I make and you can probably see right now why this is the one that I like the best. It does use more balloons, it uses different sizes, different colors. Uh, the whole nine yards, but it looks really, really cool. And of course, these can be done in solid colors. I just like polka dots. So um, you have 
two of the three inch, ten of the, or three inch, three pump, ten of the five pump, five of the 45 pump, that accounts for both sides. Um, and again on this one, also 45 on these, five of them, and two of the 15 pump. Um, as far as displaying them, I get a lot of questions about that. So, short and sweet. Hang or float. That's the only thing I can tell you with it. Taping, not a good idea. These balloons are not flat on one side. Um, they don't, if, if you take this off to try to make it flat, these will try to push out away from the wall. You have to have a sturdy tape. If you get a sturdy enough tape, probably going to rip your paint off your wall or leave a huge mess of adhesive behind, um, I would say hang it. Hang it real close to the wall. You can put tape right here if you don't want it to move any. Um, as long as it's hanging, otherwise the balloon's probably going to be too heavy for the tape and it's going to fall. Um, the other option is to move it out a little bit. Let it sit. Let the wind hit it and let it, you know, just kind of twist around because they look good on both sides. So there's no reason to worry about that ugly other side. Um, you know, just be careful with how you put it. I use thumbtacks. Um, you have to be careful that, you know, the kids running around the party don't jump up and grab it and a thumbtack hits them in the face. Um, or if you're tying it on to a part of your ceiling that that doesn't fall down with it. Um, but yeah, so you can put helium in the big ones. Don't put them in the little ones. It does no good. It doesn't help it in any way. Uh, if you're trying to measure these, these are about ten and a half inches with um, a measuring. I have measure um, pieces, but if you put two back chair backs together. Measure ten and a half inches across, put the helium tank in the center. Uh, if you've got the little short ones, you can lay the chairs down on their side and do the same thing so that way it's all close to the ground. But uh, ten and a half inches, it'll hold it up. You can attach string to it, it'll float, it holds the weight of these as long as they're ten and a half inches. If you inflate these to nine inches, uh, they're not going to hold the weight of this. So definitely 10 and a half with the helium. You can push 11. If you're getting the 12 inch balloons, you can push a lot. You can really push 11, but um, I get the 11 inch balloons and I don't like it being so tight just because there's no give. If it hits anything sharp or somebody with a hair barrette bumps it somehow, jumping up, whatever. Um, it is easier to pop them the more they're, you know, the more they've expanded. Also, with the hot weather right now, at least what we're having, 100 degrees outside right now here, um, <clears throat> the helium will expand. can also make the balloon pop. So, uh, definitely 10 and a half on that. If you do that, I would still stick with the same size on these, even if you bump these up to 11 inches. But yeah, so here are the two balloons. That is my two cents on how to display these. Don't recommend tape. Hang, float, that's cool, but taping, I don't know that you're gonna get what you want out of it, and I don't want you to damage your walls. So, here they are. <laughs>